I guess I'm just going to do this uh, face stretch tutorial um, just because I made this stuff like super long ago and I don't really do it anymore. So if you guys want to mess around with it, that's cool. Um, so yeah, let's just get to it. Um, first thing I'm going to do is just kind of fix this image up a bit. So just kind of clone. You can either use the, the brush, you know, color brush. for. I mean, these colors are pretty good. So you can get away with that, or you can use the uh, clone stamp tool. Um, let me just change this brush up a bit. And just by holding Option, especially for these areas right here, you can just clone out the section. Okay, that's one option. So you can do that, or sometimes what I like to do is you can get sometimes you can get away with the content aware fill so just kind of select this edit fill content aware sometimes it gets a bit glitchy sometimes it doesn't so we'll try it that looks decent you can also use this like a transform here and scale it out so just pull this out this way and you'll notice if I deselect here, it'll be this line, this white line. So just go back to your selection and use your arrow key and just kind of move it over like a couple pixels and then should be good. Especially with the shadows, you're going to want to use the, the stretch. Try a content aware fill and see if we can get away with it. So, did a decent job. I mean, it's good enough for now. So, I'm just going to use this clone stamp and kind of fix this area a bit. I'm just lowering the opacity just a little bit so that the blend looks a little better. So you'll notice over here it's kind of like weirdly pixelated. So with those content aware fills, sometimes you get that. You'll notice down here as well. Um, this is all stuff that you can fix with either the clone stamp or, or the heel tool. Where is that heel tool? Yeah, so like these things, if you really want to go in and get rid of them, you can just use that, the heel tool. I think that's what it's called. Spot healing brush, yeah. So just to like get rid of those dots or whatever. Um, I mean, I'm not really going to go into that right now. We're, we're here for the, uh, for the face tutorial thing. So like the fans are pretty much already pumping away on this computer. Um, I did a live video yesterday and people were saying that my computer sounded like shit, which it does. So, so to do this effect, um, you're going to use the smudge tool. And up here in your strength, you're either going to use 98 or 99 percent. Anything lower, the longer that the uh, the trail gets, the more faded out and kind of nasty and weird the uh, effect looks. Um, I use these half tone brushes. Sometimes they work pretty good. I had another brush too in here somewhere that's pretty sick. Yeah. So is it this one? So these ones with like the little dots can look pretty sick too. Um, let's see what else is in here. Yeah, 
Yeah, these uh, disintegration brushes are sick for for this effect. All right, cool. So I guess we'll go with that for now and see how it looks. So you'll notice that what I'm doing here is just trying to find a place on the face that's gonna give the best effect when I go and smudge this out. And if you grab a little bit of the background, that's gonna go on the face and that's gonna continue throughout the image and adds a really cool effect. Especially with these like solid backgrounds so cool thing is you can use your pen tool here and kind of carve out a path for the smudge tool to follow so let's do that right, right about here and we can go back and fix it after So we'll just try that for now, see how it looks. So you're gonna come down here um, to stroke path and make sure that you have your tool here selected to smudge tool. And like I said earlier, you're gonna wanna make sure also that up here in the strength is set to either 98 or 99%. So you're gonna come through here, stroke path, and we'll see what happens. So yeah, it looks pretty cool as of now. Um, there's more things we can do to get it to look better. And let's try and add some additional colors into the path. And things you can do to make the stroke look even cooler is kind of find a, like something that matches this color palette well. So maybe like some, some lighter blues and greens could look cool. Um, and let's just stroke this one more time so that we can see where where this is like taking place. Oops, hold on. Stroke the wrong layer. So what I'm trying to do here is just like hit hit the edges of of where like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, where this thing is getting, whatever, fuck it. Um, let's get some green over here. I mean, I think you guys will understand what I'm doing. Whoa, whiff, completely missed it. So the pink looks like it got picked up. So let's try that again. Um, I'm gonna duplicate this layer so that I have something to go back to. This computer is on its way out. All right, let's see if that gets picked up at all. Yep, all right, cool. So those colors got picked up nice. Um, I think down in this area too, it could look cool to have something else going on, maybe like 
some yellows or something. Let's see if that gets picked up. Nope. So yeah, this is just trial and error of like finding a spot. All right, cool. So we got a little bit right there. Doesn't look like it really continued through the image. So we're just gonna avoid that spot. Um, let's see if we can get some like purples and pinks up in this corner here. I think that cancel brush is the cancel thing is like covering up this. Looks like it got it though. I'll have to wait till it finishes. Yeah, it got it. Word. I honestly want more though, so let's go on like the inside here. I also want to fix up this section. All right. So let's try that again. So yeah, that green up there looks super dope. Looks like it got some good color there. Cool. So we're starting to get like the colors that we want. This needs to come in more for sure. Keep adding more colors, see if we can get something looking cool. So let's just keep adding some shit. So I tend to kind of just try and find the outside borders of where this path is being stroked and Sometimes it'll miss, sometimes it won't. And just make sure you're, you're drawing these on the layer that you're affecting. So cool, they're getting picked up, looking nice. So yeah, that's looking pretty cool. So what we can also do is add another layer above this and try and get some more similar colors. So let's just copy the, just kind of um, the eyedropper tool to just copy below and just replicate these in an additional layer. And you'll notice over here, I'm doing this on a separate layer. So before I was doing it on the layer that I was affecting, now I'm just doing it on a, a different layer. So let's use this as just some highlights. Yeah, now we got that like cool highlight layer going on. Now let's get this layer again. See how it looks.
Cool. So we definitely have some good colors going. I'm kind of digging the way this looks. So we'll go ahead and delete that path. Um, so, yeah, those highlight layers are cool. So yeah, I'm gonna duplicate this like multiple times to get the to get that even more. All right, so let's merge all this shit. So now we just kind of have to do some touch up work here. Let's use the pen tool here. And just kind of select the portion that we want to delete. Come up like this. Delete. All right, so the next step is going to be kind of ducking these behind the subject. So, what we need to do is Isolate our dude here. Cool. We get some more down here as well. So I've recently kind of been using the refine edge tool a lot. Because for some reason, like I used to do pen tool for everything, but refine edge is pretty powerful. So if you like crank this radius value up, especially on like the hair, I didn't make a great selection of the hair, but you can see that when you start cranking this radius value up, that it somehow figures out how to isolate the hair. So that's always super good. But yeah. I'm not gonna go super high on the radius here. I don't, I'm just trying to get these edges here. Let me see what I have select cool. All right, so we're gonna probably, let's just duplicate this first, all right. So we're probably just gonna erase right here. Let's see how that looks. I mean, it's, that could be the only one that I'm going to erase for this. We can also try these instead. I think this will look kind of weird. Yeah, definitely does. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think that makes sense. Like, that wouldn't happen right there. So let's delete that. And maybe we can delete this leg so it looks like it's coming in front of the leg and then ducking behind it. Yeah, that works. I think I'm gonna do both. Word. So yeah, guys, I mean, you could see how powerful this effect could be if you really start playing around with it. Let's try duplicating. So I just combined everything. I'm just going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to throw it on a color burn and see if we can get like some more vibey colors going here. Yeah, that works for sure. Um, just overall it gives it a cooler appearance. Other things I like to do is get, so this black point here is pretty I don't know. I mean, it's pretty solid, like dark, dark black. So I'll come over here and get like a lighter shade, fill the whole layer, and set it to lighten. And that kind of just like mats everything out and makes it look super weird and vibey. And honestly, it doesn't even look like you need the color burn when you do that. That looks sick. Let's 
So yeah, guys, that's how you do the face warp tutorial thing. Um, where was it? Yeah, so that's the picture I used. Obviously, this one was done way better. I spent so much time like drawing out the path, trying to find like a sick loop to go with. I definitely didn't do the colors here, but that's kind of something I learned later on that you can do is draw in some colors and get some cool paths. So yeah, I would spend, if you're going to do this effect, like a lot of time drawing out the right path, um, finding the right picture as well works. Like, like this picture for some reason just works really well. Not a lot of them do. So spend some time finding like the best possible picture you can for this effect. And yeah, the path, drawing it out perfectly. Um, make sure also that you have this set to either 98 or 99. Uh, what else? Yeah, and that should do it. And then you'll start getting some weird effects going. But yeah, enjoy, guys. And if you do make something with this effect, um, t tag my tutorial so other people can see it. And yeah, cool. Later.